Well, friends, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you and hope you are well. Tonight's episode of H&E is going to be about a topic I've been meaning to cover, but I've been inspired by none other than our own Lee Blue Ink. He's currently at 157 subs. Lee is a great guy, makes great content, and has an impressive Chris Bryant collection. So please go ahead and feel free to give him a give him a look if you haven't already. So tonight's episode is about upper deck hockey. Currently the number third all-time running hockey release. I mean, uh, release, sports card release of the major sports. Clocking in at every year from 1990 through today. Bested only by Topps Baseball, now known as Flagship, and Topps Football Flagship, which ran from 1956 until 2015. Upper Deck Hockey started in 1990 and continues to go today. But the phenomenon that is Young Guns is like nothing else in the hobby. I'm going to show you the cards, probably talk while I show you the cards, but here we go. In 1990, the high number set it was released. You can pick up the complete set for about five bucks. I highly recommend it. It has Sergei Fedorov and Pavel Bure. These are young guns. It says they're right in the corner. Young guns. I don't think Upper Deck knew at the time what these would go on to become the series, Young Gun series. So again, pick up this set, high number set, well worth five bucks. So, every year thereafter, they released Young Guns. From 1990, I'm pretty sure every year. But it didn't really become a phenomenon until 2000. Yeah, Danny Heatley had was Danny Heatley, it was a 99-2000 class, I believe I don't have one. But, you know, Joe Thornton, actually, I should have pulled that out. No, that's World Juniors. That's something else. But anyway, for the 2005-06 season, the NHL was coming off a strike year and had a double rookie class, which included Sidney Crosby. And Alexander Ovechkin, among other among other people, Henry Lundqvist is in this. But anyway, what makes these so amazing is they weren't really hard to get. They were one in four packs for young guns, twenty four packs a box, so about six. Six young guns per box, but they are not numbered. They are not autographed. They are not, they don't have any material, game used, or sticks, or any of that stuff. But this currently in a nine goes for about 400 bucks. Tens are quite a bit more. I believe they're in the thousand area but don't quite I haven't looked at it in a long time but point being they're not numbered they're not particularly limited they're not signed or anything so for a product of that stature these are pretty incredible now these are the go-to like young guns are like the go-to affordable hockey rookie card 
akin to like 2011 update my trout flagship style rookie cards for your basic collector now of course that's you know it has actually out of the gate this was probably raw it was probably like a hundred and twenty five dollar card right out of the gate when this product came out basically remember opening these boxes you would Sometimes you would get one or two per box and you'd sell it and buy more boxes. So those, you know, every year since then, they've continued to put out young guns. Here's the 06 Malkin. The 07 Patrick Kane. Backstrom from 07. And here's one Lee. Lee would like to have in his collection this year. The Taves in the fine nine. <clears throat> As you can tell, I used to be a fairly big BGS guy back in the day. Here's Stamkos. Much like my baseball and pitchers, I don't really have goalies in my collection. Here's Tavares. Duchesne. Did I see? Oh, this was misfound. Oh, here's the uh, the Kessel from 06. I don't know how that I'm going blind in my old age. Jamie Benn. Taylor Hall, 2010. Then that year they did a 20th anniversary special parallel variation. Well, not parallel, but variation of the top guys. Here's the Hall. It looks just like the, uh, the 1990 version. They did a good job on that. I don't remember how I didn't. I, I bought this all right. I don't. Wasn't an opening packs then. I don't think these were extremely easy to get, but not. Might be wrong on that. You can look that one up. And then 13 is Nathan McKinnon. I have, I have other guys, but these I didn't want this to be a 50,000 minute video, so I tried to pick out some of the more popular guys. And lastly, in my upper deck young guns collection is, is this fantastic Connor McDavid that I'm proud to own in the 10 and again I think this is like a 350 or $400 card now but um, yeah again this is it's this there are parallels and they've actually started making more and more parallels each year starting with 15 I think when EPAC electronic packs not not extremely familiar with it but there's like a foil version of this now there's there's always been starting with the with the Crosby there was an exclusives number to 100 and then high gloss number to 10 and then that there were just the three versions and now there's like a bazillion like everything else now there's like a bazillion different versions but the base root of it is this is his, you know, most desirable basic rookie card that one could get, you know, relatively easy. I mean, there were probably one or two of these a case. I don't remember exactly. This I think there's 50 Young Guns. There's a Series 1 and a Series 2 every year. But I think it's 50 in each series, so... Six per box, you do the math. Not extremely easy, not extremely hard. Difficult. But uh, yeah, so I just want to do a nice little video on Young Guns. I know not many people will watch this, and that's fine. I don't make videos so people will want well, I, <laughs> I don't make videos for watch, like, count, view counts, and 
all that other stuff. I make videos because I enjoy making videos and I, I want to keep learning and I want to share my knowledge. And I just, I, I like getting the word out there because you never know who's going to learn something and pass it along. And I, that's the best part about it. I like about this hobby is learning and always, always learning. All right, I'm rambling on now. So I'm going to wrap this up. I want to thank you for being you. You matter. Always learning. Keep learning. Share your knowledge. Plan for Chicago. Harold Baines loves you. And keep collecting.